Today I have a few organisational things to do, part of just decluttering and just getting rid of some stuff. Now our new bed is in, so our king size bed went into the spare room and the double bed from the spare room is getting collected today from the British Heart Foundation. Now it's in such good quality, barely used, it's from Ikea. I tried to sell it on Facebook Marketplace, <laughs> guys. I don't know how people talk about Facebook Marketplace all the time. Like after one week of having that bed on there, I must have had nine, at least nine messages, at least nine messages along the lines of, hey, is this available? Yeah, 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 still available. When I tell you, I literally was pulling my hair out. And then again, hi, is this still available? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> In the end, I gave up. I just gave up. I couldn't handle the silence. The silence. I think people do it on purpose. I think they're like, oh, we're going to just send a load of messages out. Like, is this available? I've eaten berries, so if my tongue looks purple, that's why. The first thing to do this morning is get the bed down, get it in the hallway, ready for the British Heart Foundation to come and get it. I've got a box here full of fabric. This is here because George has decided under the stairs is where he wants to go toilet. So we put this up about a month ago just to try and break the habit. Um, yeah, this box is full of fabric. This is going to Sarah over at Uplift Furnishings. She makes beautiful things with fabric. I've got so much. I'm decluttering. I'm getting rid. So that's going to be picked up today from DPD. It's in my gusto box. <laughs> actually messaged and I was like, are you allergic to nuts? Because the only box I've got is my gusto and it came with nuts. Luckily, she's not allergic. The next plan. So this is all happening today. So that's going. The bed's got to come down. The bed's going. That box is getting collected. And tomorrow, I got news that my units for the kitchen are arriving. Yes, chaos, I know. So this is my kitchen end. So the units start here. This is all stuff to go away. Um, clothes from this morning's wash are out drying. And this is our kitchen table. Now, believe it or not, this is a nice table, but it's never used. Like, literally, when we have friends over, which is never now, and when family come to stay three, four, five times a year, we'll sit out here. And then when the grandbabies come, we'll do all of our crafts and our art and everything out here. Um, so this table is basically where the units are going to go. I know! I've ordered two sideboards. So instead of spending extra money on extra kitchen cabinets, cupboards, units, blah, 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 worktop, I've ordered two sideboards. So they're going to go along this entire wall side by side. Bargain price of like £170 each, which compared to kitchen, I mean, cheap guys, cheap, cheap. Anyway, they'll do for now. Um, just for storage, our kitchen is limited on storage as, as nice as it is. You know, as we've evolved over the years we've been here, like Tim has got really into his jam making, pickling and all of that. And there's just nowhere to put everything. So that's the plan for the sideboards. Anyway, back to the table. This has to go today. This has to go into the living room. The living room table is a small little one. So that's going to come in here and that will probably live like here or by the back door. Um, honestly, all this stuff. This is my new sander that I got for Christmas, still in its box. This is a juicer that I ordered, still in its box. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's the plan. So get this table out of here, ready for tomorrow. Hoover, mop the floors so that it's ready for the sideboards. George says, hey, and then the living room table is going to come in here. And then this is the chaos I'm talking about. So as you saw my kitchen before, so my fridge is here. And then in this little nook is where my washing machine and dryer are. Again, carnage. This is our dumping ground. We come in to dumping ground. All of George's food is all down here. But again, we've got jars and jars and jars of kibbles and snacks and his lick mats and Christmas things I forgot to put away. Then it just it, it's just a dumping ground. It's a dumping ground because we've got no organisation. Now, obviously, we've got a few little medicine things in here. Bubbles for the kids. Again, no organisation. Socks, because as soon as they come out of the washing machine, George wants the socks. So they all get dumped up here. It's like this. It's a forever cycle of dumping. So, yeah, my plan is once the units arrive. Hi, George. <laughs> once the units arrive and the units are going to fill this whole wall, then every 
cupboard is going to have a use. We're going to have a dog food cupboard, Tim's pickling, jams, and all of that is going to go in one cupboard. And everything's just going to have a home. That's the plan. So we got the bed downstairs and I rang the British Heart Foundation asking if they would also be willing to take the headboard, which is in great condition. They said yes, so there it is. I don't know how he's going to get this mattress out. He's on his own. Why would they send someone on their own? This mattress is so heavy. He says he can do it, so I'm not going to film. Oh, he did it. <laughs> he did it really easily. Maybe I'm just weak. <laughs> Who is Claire? What have you done with her? <laughs> I have always said for the longest time, I am not a natural cleaner, guys. It's not something that I find passion doing. But things are changing. This past year, I have found myself enjoying the process so much more. And I'll be honest, it's watching clean with me's like whole house cleans. I would literally be sitting on my sofa with a cup of tea and a biscuit watching people clean their houses <laughs> and I'm just sitting here like eating a biscuit and drinking a cup of tea but I found it so so motivating and it got to the point around eight nine months ago I started putting my laptop in the kitchen and watching a clean with me while I cleaned I cannot explain to you what motivation it gave me to actually get moving and do all of the things <laughs> Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, I could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're part of our kitchen was here when we moved in so i love it we were very very lucky to have this kitchen but honestly if i had my time again if i got to build my own kitchen i would never go for a wooden worktop again this is on our list of things that truly need attention in our house and that's just for it's for another day honestly <laughs> there's always tea breaks always tea breaks i feel like it's a reward if i do a certain section i'll have a cup of tea and here it is looking pretty dapper. Then it was time to sort out the rest of the kitchen. You know, sometimes one side of my kitchen really does look great, like Instagram worthy, but don't turn the camera around because everything is piled in a big heap of shameless rubbish behind that camera. I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely not gonna be an Instagram worthy home. My friend, my amazing YouTube friend down in Australia, live it like Lisa, Oh gosh, guys, her house. I absolutely love her house. I love watching her clean with me's, but she says it a lot. <laughs> this is not an Instagram house. I think her house is quite an Instagram house. Anyway, a pile of rubbish in the corner, a quick hoover, and then it was just time to clean all the skirting boards. These were disgusting. Dude. like honestly who looks down nobody looks down i gave the walls a really good scrub we have got a washable paint and that was done okay um did undone i've just wiped down all the wall this whole wall needs repainting where we've had the table up against it for seven years it's just scuffed um but it's done for now hopefully the sideboard will hide the scuffs so it will come up quite high it's not as high as a kitchen worktop but it will do the job. It will give us a whole wall of storage. I've just cleaned the floor underneath the area. And yeah, now I'm just gonna mop the room and hopefully that will be enough. Um, the units that we've gone for, obviously I've just moved everything this side. The units we've gone for, the sideboards we've gone for is cream with a wooden top. So hopefully um, it will just match. It will match, everything will match and we'll live happily ever after with storage. <laughs> You know, this new channel has given me a massive appreciation for bloggers who have 
all the camera angles, you know, moving the camera, setting the camera up. It really was quite fun to do. And it was my first experience of really trying to get all of those angles in one clip so that it doesn't just stay repetitive and mundane for you guys to watch. But here is this smaller table that I've brought in. It fits so much nicer in this space and works so well under the clock. This is me thinking like, is the unit gonna fit? Is it gonna work? That's pretty much all I can do in here right now. In the corner are, like I said, my machine, my juicer. I need to get rid of this little Black & Decker DIY set for kids because the children showed no interest. Um, recycling bin is under there. Table and chairs, that's going to come into this corner. And then the units are going to come along here. So now, you can see the size difference in these tables. <laughs> I need to get this huge table. This massive, like it's absolutely gargantuous I need to move this into the living room because there's no way we could get the units in here and still have this table um so for now this works this table is same age as this one battered bruised broken George has pretty much chewed every corner don't care it works it's functional I'm not precious so yeah hopefully I'll um Get this table in i do have to dismantle this table to get it into the living room sadly i have to take all four legs off which means flipping it upside down obviously i've got george here so i don't want to risk what i would do if i was alone <laughs> i'd probably just climb underneath <laughs> but i'm not going to do that i'm going to flip it on its tummy on its back and screw each individual leg off and then slide it through to the living room getting these angles and honestly seeing George follow me all the way around just melted my heart this boy follows me everywhere and this table was so so heavy and he was so good kind of staying out of my way and I got the job done and here it is I just sat down I just sat down with a cup of tea to relax and DPT are finally here George yes George is telling me they're finally here to pick up this package and then I can actually relax I'm so hot there they are <laughs> The parcel's just gone, the bed is gone, the tables have been swapped around. Today's been a productive day. Who am I? Excuse me? And tomorrow on... Oh, no. oh God! How, how do people film with animals? <laughs> and tomorrow are... Okay, so tomorrow are kitchen cat... Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, <laughs> George, tomorrow, up. Uh. So we actually signed up to Gusto a couple of weeks ago. It really is a game changer for us. We hate meal planning, prepping. Neither of us can remember to take food out of the freezer. We're really not just even adults at this point, but Gusto has come through and they are saving our lives on a daily basis. And we've been with them weeks now, loving them. Then I got a rude awakening. I had to actually go to B&Q and pick up some tester pots for the rest of the bedroom. And honestly, I wasn't prepared. After the day I've had, it was literally, what is it now, 7? It was literally 6.30. And then I remembered I've got to come to B&Q to do a um, pickup of my tester pots. So I ordered online four tester pots for the bedroom because it's been really hard to find a green. And yeah, I was like, I need to get dressed <laughs> because I was already in my pyjamas. You know, when you're in your pyjamas and it's game over, like nothing's happening now, you're in your pyjamas. No, I had to go back and get dressed. Oh my God, my soul. The unit arrived, unit, not plural. Um, only one came and guys, I'm tired. 6.30 this morning they arrived. Um, messed up though, I messed up. I thought it was assembled. I thought it was an assembled unit. I'm just not in the mood to build. <laughs> it's not Ikea. Do you know what I mean? Ikea is so easy. You don't need instructions. This. I'm sorry. What? Guys. I went back online and I was like, wait, this was meant to be fully assembled. So it was the unit next to it that was £200 more that came fully assembled. This one, it says self-assembly. I could cry right now, but you know, first world problem. So that's the top, which is way darker than the photos. Oh my gosh, guys. Anyway, look, it's going to do the job. And it's another three weeks before I get the second unit. So if I don't like it, I can cancel the other one. So we're going to see how it goes, but check this out. So this gives you an idea of what it looks like. And, oh. Oh, it's so dope. 
So this did take me about five hours to assemble by myself. I'm not very good at accepting help and Tim quite frankly just lets me get on with everything but yeah five hours. So this is two hours after starting. I know George is mummy filming again. Honestly this boy. <laughs> um, it's two hours after starting the second cabinet and like I can't even resist. I have to put things on it <laughs> because I'm so excited at how this looks. Everything on that table is all clean laundry, gusto boxes, and all of the boxes that came with this unit. But how cool does this look? I absolutely love it. Do you love it, George? He loves it. He loves it. Do you love it? He do. He does. Um, so yes, I've still got um, the doors and the drawers to make, but I'm gonna stop for some lunch. I just got a Tesco whoosh because I'm feeling super lazy. Um, and we didn't have any yummies. Do you know like proper yummies for a nice lunch? So I've just ordered some like fresh salad and that's all just arrived. So gonna stop for lunch. This is the current state of play. I do love this system. I think this system rocks. Like I don't know what I would do if I did not have everything laid out. But yes, George is jumping. You can hear him. <laughs> He's hungry for lunch. He's got food, by the way. You've got food. Yeah, you do. Right, I'm gonna go give George cuddles and then tackle this after lunch. Okay, it is done. I've got the wide angled lens on my camera. Um, I'm so, so happy. It is 20 to six. I finished about five. Um, love them. I mean, they're cheap, cheap, so cheap. Not, you know, but I only got it for the fact that I pretty much have a whole new kitchen area for a fraction of the price. They were 170 each in the sale. And yeah, I'd messed up in a few areas. Cabinet took about, I think it was five hours. This one has taken me the best part of four hours. That was with a lunch break though. But the last thing I did <laughs> was the drawers and I messed up. So this base here, this base should look cream and that's because that's underneath um, I just slotted them in the wrong way and that I did that on all four drawers so instead of the cardboard it should look like the same cream pattern on the outside so I do need to flip those around but other than that I am so happy are you happy George you're happy <laughs> yeah you are you love it so this one here is going to be the baking cupboard this one here is the grandbabies, um, the cereals, bowls, plates, cups. This one here is my new Nutribullet juicer. Um, and then the dog stuff, dog stuff, dog stuff, and pots, pans, mixing bowls, and all of that. I might move the mixing bowls down. I'll see. I'll see how it goes. But really, really happy. Now I just need to get rid of all these Gusto boxes. So that is my kitchen transformation complete. We now have storage for all of the things that were just built up on the side, making everything feel chaotic in our kitchen. Just didn't have enough covered space. That Timu bag is actually a home haul. Um, and yeah, I just got some cleaning products and some little sprigs of eucalyptus, which are so, so cute. There's a photo over on my Instagram of that. And I really, really love it. Again, in the middle, I've just put out a couple of bits like the pot. I made the big white marble pot and an oil burner and just a couple of extra little bits just to make the middle look pretty and kind of make it look like it's just one unit. I know you can see a gap at the front, but it's all good. And it's looking so much neater now that I've got rid of all those boxes. I've just broken them all down and put them in the recycling. So, so clean. You know, my kitchen looks so, so clean. I am tempted at this point. So whilst my new units kind of half match my kitchen, my kitchen does have these brushed chrome handles and the units come with black. So I am tempted to spray paint the handles on the new units like a brushed chrome just to tie it in a little bit more. Let me know what you would do in the comment section, but I just feel like it would tie it in a little bit more. Also, am I that bothered? I don't know, but equally, I think it would look extra, extra cute if they all kind of matched. Yeah. George is happy. He now knows where all his treats are. So it is time to cook the next Gusto meal. I'm still loving Gusto. I have to say, game changer. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.